Hey plant nerds, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, why don't you go ahead and click the subscribe button. And if anything, do it because I made this cool little animation. Today I want to talk about fungus gnats because they are everywhere in my home and they drive me insane. If you've never dealt with fungus gnats, first of all, congratulations, because you're a better plant parent than me. And second, you may. I'm gonna talk about one way you can control fungus gnats. There's tons of different ways. You have mosquito bites, hydrogen peroxide, apple cider vinegar. Now, I watched Summer Rain Oaks. If you haven't seen her channel yet, I'll link it above. It's really awesome, you should check it out. But I was inspired by her biological control of pests in her house. So I did some research on how to biologically control fungus gnats. And what I came across was beneficial nematodes. They are not actual toads, like some of us may have thought. You will not have toads in your house. What a nematode is, it is a parasitic roundworm. And to understand how nematodes work, you kind of have to understand the life cycle of a fungus gnat. Fungus gnats have four stages. There's the egg, the larva, the pupa, and then the adult gnat, which is the things you see flying around all the time and they are attracted to carbon dioxide, so usually they will fly around your face or up your nose. Adults are usually pretty easy to catch. You have sticky traps you can put near your plants. They also tend to just gravitate towards any kind of water, so if you just had a glass of water near your plants, chances are you will find fungus gnats that have drowned. But to control my fungus gnat problem, I thought I would try to get the early stages taken care of. Pew, pew, pew. Once you put beneficial nematodes into your house plants, what happens is these tiny parasitic roundworms will search and find any larva, especially fungus gnat larva, that is currently in your plant. And that's where the real fun begins. What happens next is those tiny parasitic worms try to get inside their host any way possible. Through the mouth, through breathing tubes, through... It's not fun. When a nematode enters the host, what it does is it secretes this symbiotic bacteria. This bacteria then breaks down the insides of that host into a form that the beneficial nematodes can then consume as food. Ugh. The host usually dies within one to two days. The nematodes then stay inside the host and they continue to feed and produce babies. So the female nematodes have eggs and if there's enough food inside the host, left, they will lay their eggs inside the host. But if there's not, then the eggs mature and hatch inside the mother, doing the same exact thing to the mother as the nematodes do to the host, which is the babies will consume the mother from the inside. And then eventually when they're big enough, they will exit. It's not a fun death. The specific species of nematodes that I have today is called Steiner nemofeltii, and they target specifically fungus gnats, but a whole list of other pests. Nematodes can be used in many situations, usually outdoor gardening or flower beds. There's specific species that target Japanese beetle larvae, that target slugs. The nematodes I ordered today are from Biologic. I got the 5 million nematodes. I don't have a huge garden that I'm spreading this on, I'm just doing it for my house plants, so I just got the smallest amount. There's many different varieties. I'll put a link down below to the specific one that I bought in case you want to check it out. The directions said to keep this refrigerated and they can live in the refrigerator or stay fine in the refrigerator for up to two weeks. The directions tell you to use a fully packed teaspoon to mix in one gallon of water. They do suggest before you apply your nematodes to make sure the soil is damp. So I've watered all of my plants already. So I have a pitcher here that I'm gonna mix the nematodes into and then I'll use my watering cans to disperse. So they come in this nice little package and also included in the package is a freezer pack. Now it's winter here so they were fine outside but if it's in the summer you obviously need that. So it kind of just looks like a little powder. We're gonna put that in our water. All right, so I watered all my plants, so here's hoping those little roundworms get to work attacking those little larvae. 
Beneficial nematodes are safe for your pets and your house. So you can use them on your house plants without a worry of them doing damage to your plants or yourself or your furry friends. Hmm. Hmm. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, why don't you go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. Uh, I wanted to give these beneficial nematodes a try to see if I can biologically control my fungus gnat problem. So we'll see how this works. Thanks for watching.